Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I have a great Outlook tip for you today. So just one topic in this video, it has to do with Outlook on the web, how to only view the files you have in an attachment, not the email, just the files. So I've already signed into Outlook on the web. What I'm about to do, you cannot do on Outlook on the desktop. So I'm on my inbox. Obviously, if I want to filter my emails and only show attachments, and I could do this on the desktop version of Outlook. On the web, I would click on Attachments, and there are my emails that have attachments. I'm going to turn that off, because what I want to do is only see the actual attachment files. So down at the bottom in Outlook, you click on the three dots, and there is Files. Watch this. This is so cool. It opens up outlook.office365.com slash files. I could just send you that link. If somebody says, I don't know how to get here, just copy this link and send it to them. And they'll sign into Outlook and they'll see this. So first of all, there are four things you can do here that I'm thinking about right off the top. I'm on files on the left. Listed are my files. So the first thing you can do is you can sort these. Right now, I've got file name. If I click it, a to Z, Z to A. So I just did a sort by file name. I'm not going to do it, but I could also sort by sent by. Actually, I'm going to do this one. I could sort by subject and I could sort by receive date. The second thing you can do when you're here is you can filter. So here's files, filter. I'm making this up. I only want to see the Excel files. That's all I have, but I also want to see Word. This is cool that it lets you select multiple with the filter. I like that feature. If you wanted to see more, you come to more. I'm not going to do this, but there you go. I'm going to go back to files here. The third item you can do is you can go and when you find an attachment, I'm making this up. I'm sorting by sent by. Here are my invoices from Microsoft, for my work account. And I'm making this up. Accounting says, Chris, we did not get the March 21 invoice for Microsoft to pay. Well, 3-8-2021. I'm going to go to these three dots that say more actions. Share by email. So I don't have to go find the email and forward the email. I'm just going to find that attachment, send it to the accounting department, done. And we'll stop there. And the fourth item you can do when you're here is you can come over here and you can change your view from list view to tiles view. Watch what happens when I go to tiles view. This is actually really cool. It breaks it up by month, March, February, Jan, December. There you go. So that is your view. One item I really want to point out to make sure you know this. I know it says files. It is not showing me any images, JPEG or PNG. No photos are being displayed because they made a separate, somewhat of a filter, if you think about it, for photos. There are my photos. Change the view again. Watch this. I can still sort those, by the way. Watch this. There are my thumbnails for some of my recent videos. Cool? If I want to see photos and files all at one time. All attachments is here. I could also get to it by going to filter all. In fact, watch when I click all, it jumped to all attachments. So there you go. I find this to be an incredibly cool feature. I appreciate my friend pointing this out to me yesterday when he said, hey, do you know about this feature in Outlook on the web? And I'm like, no. And the minute I saw it, I said, oh, that's really cool. Anyway, Feel free to subscribe. If you have any questions at all about this video, please let me know. And I've got a ton of Outlook videos, both desktop and Outlook on the web. And I'll put a link to the playlist also down below. Have a great day. Thank you.